Hey guys, that's um, Aaron, Mr. Pizarro. Hi everyone in the Bob community. This is just an uh, an update, an intro before my video. Uh, just making everyone aware that. Well, I hope you're all enjoying the summer, by the way. Hope everyone in VC is doing fine, and hope to see more videos too. Um, I just wanted to make everyone aware that. Um, Damien had lost his station, his channel, and uh, Damien's featured in this video, um, the video you're going to see, and I just wanted to um, ask everybody, everyone who subscribed to Damien before, if you could uh, go to his new, I'm going to put a link in the video description part, if you could click on the link and su subscribe to him again, because, uh, you know, he lost pretty much everybody. So, that would be great, okay? And uh, once again, hope you enjoy this next video. And, uh, oh, I will be doing, uh, I just told LJ, I got like six months of records that I still haven't showed. So, I'm going to be doing a vinyl update very soon. Uh, I'm going to start taping it this week, and I'm going to try to keep the videos flowing uh, faster than they usually have been. All right? Because I have a lot to share. You want to see my ugly face that is all right love all you guys very much and i hope you're enjoying your weekend and the heat is finally broken so get out and have some fun love you all very much keep on enjoying your endless summer bye bye Hello, everybody in the vinyl community. Me, Rob from Boston, back to do another thank you video, part two. Um, I'll jump right into it. I just want to thank Bobby Gas first. Bobby from Canada. I'm going to try not to yell this video. Bobby, uh, I got to know Bobby a few months ago, six months ago or so. And uh, Bobby decided to, instead of doing a contest, he was just going to pass out some VCLT to some of the people who, I guess, uh, watched his channel and vibed with them. And that's all I can say is it's been a pleasure uh, getting to know you, Bobby. Um, you've got a quite a, you remind me a lot of my dad and my brother. You're a fisherman. You know, you, you're a hardcore fisherman. You love to fish. And uh, I respect that very much. I went out in a boat a couple of times when I was young, and I think that when I finally quit was when the day I hooked something. I think it was we went bluefish fishing out in a boat, and um, I don't know if my father hooked it or my uncle or something, but they gave it to me to, to reel in. And it must have been a beauty, but it's all I know is when I got close, it, the, the line broke, and um, the fish got away. And that was the end of my fishing career because I got so guilty. You know, they, I don't think they consoled me the way they should have or something. I think I got more like, oh, you ruined it, or whatever. You, oh, it would have been a beautiful fish. But whatever, you know, I'm more into the, the shores and not so much fishing, but doing anything else in the sand. So that's about it. I wanted to get to the records. Bobby sent me this really nice package. He made me some CDs. J.J. Kale, listened to it, liked it. English Rock Blues, I listened to some of this. Did I? No, I haven't listened to that yet. And Can't He, love this band. He know, Bobby knows my music. Now, he showed this End Twistle album, and I had mentioned how much I wanted it, not wanted it per se, how much I needed to add it to my collection. I used to have it when I was younger, and um, I don't know where it went, I really don't. Uh, I had a beat copy, a good copy, beat copy that I ruined probably, but um, he sent me this really nice copy, original copy of this, John Entwistle's first solo album on Decca. Love it. You know, a lot of people don't like or didn't care for his solo music so much, but I thought he was great. One of my uh, favorite bass players ever, and just a, a guy who lived the lifestyle. Oh, let me also show you. Bobby also sent me this uh, 
Dylan Tree. It's like a bar slash club that he frequents. I'm going to leave this playing. Should I leave this? Nah, I think I'll put on this. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to sort of uh, relate to something soon. He also sent me this uh, Sam the Record Man bag, which I love. And continuing with the records, the best of Mountain. Who knows how much I love Leslie West? Anything. This is what Felix Papalai though. Best of Mountain. Excellent condition. Perfect. And he also sent me, I mentioned, I didn't even know uh, John Anderson from Yes did a, an album of Ben Jealous. So he sent me this, which is also in mint condition. Friends of Mr. Cairo. Really cool. I mean, the whole box, I was blown away. The labels need to. So thank you so much, Bobby. Hope we can continue to share our friendship through the years, my friend. Keep doing what you're doing on there. I love your updates. Oh, so much stuff in this box. The love I get in the vinyl community is unbelievable. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a really, really nice letter. Promo from the bag, the, the bar, right on. Thank you so much again, Bloody. That will be, all the stuff will be together in one record, so you'll never be forgotten. Not that I'll ever forget you anyway, but sounds like I'm in love. Like I'm going to propose. I won't propose, I promise. Uh, all right, thank you, Bobby. Not that there's anything against proposing, you know. I don't want to hurt anyone by saying anything stupid, like I usually do. Uh, Vance. Vance, Vance, my buddy Vance. Chicago's up three games to two as of this moment. What's going to happen? Nobody knows. This is Mathian playing in the background. And uh, this Vance sent me a copy of Mathian. What a great album. Darling Television. Um, his friend Chris plays in this band. He's basically unbelievable, this kid. Guy, kid. He's phenomenal. Very, very smart. Very good uh, writer. And I really dig this album. The more I listen to it, the more I like it. It's down low code inside. And it comes on this gorgeous pink vinyl. Wow, is that pink. But, yeah, I really, really like the writing, you know? What can I say? If anybody, please, check this band out. You know, you won't regret it. You can go to Vance's video. He has, did a video on making. Check it out. You know, go check out their website. Thank you, Vance. He also sent me some Chicago newspaper, kind of like the Boston one, but I haven't got a chance to look through it yet. And some uh, very, very nice letter dance and some promo stuff from different places Marilyn Manson card's really cool this I love stick it for the new Johnny Ma that's going in the album I told you I'd put it in the album already I think but I didn't Arcadia Live it's like a place entertainment place that has all kinds of bands playing there cool just the same thing a lot of good bands Lincoln Hall uh, anything Chicago is cool to me. Reckless Records, very neat. And for a bonus, he sent me Hank Williams Jr. I listened to some of this. It was really cool. Um, Montana Cafe, I love. PETA, every time I see country now, you think of Dave or PETA. Uh, Dave Summer 481 or Peter L. El PETA. Uh, they both like country. But thank you so much, Vance. That was so cool of you, the whole package. Love you, my brother. You know that. Like I said, who knows what's going to happen with the series, right? Black Fox Bruins. Sorry this is so loud, guys. I would probably ruined the video already. So loud, I'm screaming over everything. I'm, I apologize for that. I should play it back and check it out. But uh, I'll end with this song. Keep it low. Kind of applies to uh, this next video. The Smithereens were kind of punk too, you know? In my opinion. In a way. Uh, but anyway, Damien. Fellow, everybody knows Damien. Um, 
Ned's Atomic Dustbin, Damien. Um, Damien sent me a package. And he showed this album, okay, in his video, ways back. It said, Led Astray. And he was talking about it. And as soon as I saw it, my eyes dropped. You know, oh, jeez. But he thought it was a tribute album, like a Zeppelin tribute band. So I couldn't wait for the video to end. Sorry, Vance. So I could PM him and tell him what he had. But he had gold. And he, he paid like $2, $3 for it. Or a dollar even, I don't know. But this is uh, Louisiana State University. Led Zeppelin Live, 1975. And it is a good one. A rare one. Well, an early rare one, kind of. We'll find these around. Made my day. He sent it to me. You know, of course you're going to have it, Rob. You know, wow. So, anyone, first of all, that's a bootleg. Damien, that's the kind of person he is. He sends me a bootleg. You know, he knew it. I would cherish this thing, and I would send him the same thing if I found someone like this. You know, but he also sent me this on top of it. Black Flag, first four years. This is when I seen them early on. No, actually, I seen them when Henry started. So, I seen them around the mid '80s when I saw Bad Brains and uh, Dead Kennedys, all around that same time. But Black Flag, I saw in a place called Channel in Boston. It's like South Boston, best club. I mean, I saw like Los Lobos there, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis a few times. I saw Crystal Ship. You know, a lot of the tributes, a lot of punk shows. Um, alternative shows, you know, I don't know, it was just a great club, you can look it up the channel and it will list everybody, but that was really cool of you, Damien, you know, it's a reissue, but I won't even bother showing it, well, maybe I will, first four years, killer, how can I not love it, everybody loves Black Flag, hey Danny, how you doing out there, shout out to Dave too, Fatback Funk, I don't usually give shout outs, but for some reason they're reminding me of punk lately. Everybody on the punk website too. God, that's going crazy. Punk site that Damien runs. I think Damien started. He also sent me this Chet Atkins. Chet is my favorite country artist. And I loved his playing. I loved him as a man. I thought he was a really good, humble guy. And wow, could he play the guitar. Just adored his playing. So those three albums from Damien. Thank you so much again, Damien. And let me just rehash the whole thing. Bobby Gas, thank you again, my friend, for the three records. Um, my friend Vance, for the everything, Vance. All three is for your friendship, for everything you've given me, for the comments we've shared, and also for Damien, things he sent me. Everything is well appreciated. You know, I didn't even show these two things Vance sent me. Vance also sent me this Zeppelin really cool thing from a calendar. It's an ad from the... I think it's... Yeah. June 21st, 27, Los Angeles Farm in Inglewood, 1977. Probably six of the greatest shows they ever played as a band. So thank you very much. All right, that's it. I'm done. Two pots. Thank you, everybody. And I cherish, cherish, cherish this vinyl community. I love it very, 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 very much. I take it very seriously. It hurts me when I hear anything negative or see anything negative, but I hardly ever do. You know, sometimes, um, you know, people have issues with certain things, but that's to be, you know, it's understood. But I just try to keep the vibe going on a smooth way because I love everybody in this community. I really do. And um, I just hope it goes on forever. So thank you. So everybody, if you watch this, I really hope you did, and you liked it. Send me a note telling me you did. All right, I'll get back to you. I'll see you in your videos, everyone. Thanks again. Bye bye.